League and she's also responsible for communications there while also driving youth transformation, youth development and uh, economic transformation. Yeah. You're responsible for a broad range of, of elements within the Youth League. Just looking at particularly economic transformation. As the Youth League, are you satisfied with the deliberations in strategy and tactics? Are you realizing your objectives? Yes, indeed. Um, I believe that uh, one of the things that uh, the strategy and tactics 2007 Pulukwane gives us is a coherent observation of the conditions uh, that we are currently faced with, our historical context and where we need to move as a, as a nation and as an African National Con uh, Congress in terms of, of our policies. Um, and so so in terms of that aspect, we are confident uh, that even uh, after we have come out of uh, the third day of the deliberations, uh, we are confident that we are still applying the 2007 strategy and tactics document in Pulukwane. Um, which gives us a direct diagnosis of what the issues are. Uh, in terms of uh, what has come out of uh, the documents that have been uh, suggesting support uh, for the strategy and tactics document of 2007, uh, we are also confident that it responds directly to Chapter 8 of the 2007 uh, strategy and tactics document. Okay. Talk a little bit about the second transition. And I mean, the president spoke about it. There's been a lot of focus on it. As the ANC Youth League, are you happy with where things are now? Um, in terms, there is no second transition. Mm -hmm. uh, the ANC has agreed that we are in the phase of a transition up until we achieve the objectives of the Freedom Charter. Mm -hmm. We can't say that we are in a second transition. That remains our guiding document in terms of what we need to do, what are the 10 areas that are priorities to the African National Congress and that becomes our basis and this is where the 2007 strategy and tactics document takes us in terms of analyzing where we are strategy and tactics historically within the ANC has always done that since 1969 85 97 etc mm. it always gives us an observation coming from um, 1969 Morogoro we knew what we had to do okay. where we had to take action and where we had to take defiance etc is it correct then to characterize things as they are now as you as the NC Youth League don't agree with where things are no in terms of uh, what this uh, document that is supporting the, the chapter 8 uh, uh, it is not a strategy document. and tactics document okay. it's simply um, a, a document that gives an analysis mm -hmm. of where we are in terms of the economy where our social status is and as i said it responds mm -hmm. to what has been outlined in chapter 8 of the strategy and tactics of 2007 so it's just a diagnosis of have we been able to move in what phase are we within the space of, 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 of this, uh, of what we call a national democratic struggle or a revolution. And what we have said is that it can be seen as a second phase because we have achieved this political uh, liberation, this political democracy. Where are we now in terms of the economy? And this is what 2007 chapter eight says. It says that we need to have a national democratic program that gives a coherence around what kind of a society do we want? Mm -hmm. Is our economic structure responding sufficiently to the issues around the economy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, land reform. Are you happy about land reform issues? There was a suggestion, uh, Ronald Lamola saying that uh, whites must volunteer some land and mines that they own, otherwise angry black youth will fa uh, flood their farms. Oh well of course I think that what we are what we are calling for is a radical and a drastic change of legislation. Mm -hmm. We can't have this uh, sit back approach about how land because land is at the heart of the economy. And if we are unable to seize this opportunity of taking the issue of land seriously, we are not going to be able to resolve issues of okay. the economy. All right, let's leave it at that. Magdalene Munsami, thank you very much for joining us, member of the National Executive Committee of the ANC Youth League joining us this morning here.